The five number summary is a really, really handy piece of information for you to get from data because you can use it to make things like a box and whisker plot. So I'm going to start off by finding out what the five number summary for this is. So that is the minimum, the first quartile, the median, third quartile and maximum. So this being Excel, there are actually equations or formulae for each of these and you always start off um, a formula in Excel with an equal sign, so pop an equal sign in there. And the formula for minimum is min, which is not that mind blowing. Then you put a bracket and then you highlight your data and then you close the bracket and that's it, 145. I could have looked at that by sight really, couldn't I? But um, I guess you'd use minimum if you had a really long list of numbers and uh, you, know, you couldn't be bothered putting them in order and finding the smallest one. Um, and then we've got Q1. Q1, I like to use quartile and then bracket, get the data you need and put another bracket on that. No, actually, don't put the bracket on yet. Put a comma, I want quartile, first quartile. So I put a one there, close the bracket and that gives me the first quartile. The median equals median bracket and then my data. Um, Q3, just like with Q1, type equals quartile, bracket, get my data, and put a three after it, and there we go, third quartile. And the maximum, you probably can figure this yourself, but equals max, bracket, and then I'll highlight the numbers again. Of course, I could just look at the bottom of that list. Okay, it's 190, great. Um, now that's the five number summary. Sometimes you need to find the mean as well. So if you want to do that, um, this is where Excel, I don't know, against expectations, it's not asking for the mean here. It's asking for the average, which is a synonym. So put the bracket there, highlight the data and close the bracket. And there's the average. And the standard deviation, this is a sample. So I'm going to go equals stdev dot s bracket and then get my data there if you need the standard deviation and then close the bracket and the standard deviation is right there. Okay, that's great. So I've got the data for the males. What about if I want to do the females? Well, if you've used Excel a bit, you probably know that there's a shortcut for this, but just in case you don't, you don't have to type all those formulae again. Just highlight all of them and grab the little black box on the bottom right corner so that when your cursor changes to a black, cross, drag it across one and it will actually calculate it all for there. See, in this one here, these formulae were all referring to um, B2 down to B17, whereas when as soon as you drag it across, it starts looking at the next bunch across, so then it starts referring to all this data here. There you go. Makes it easier, doesn't it?